Hi, boys and girls. I have a new book for you. This is a, going to be a level seven. Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, and it's called Hermit Crab, which happens to be one of my favorite, favorite stories. So remember, we have kind of developed a little pattern with our reading videos. I'm going to go over the ice by ice first, where you get to practice using your toolbox, and then we'll go over the sight words, and that'll be the end of video one, and then video two, you get to read the story all by yourself. So let's get started. All right, our first word looks like this. And tell me if you see any Legos inside this word. I hope you see ER, because ER says er. And I hope you see IT, because IT says it. If you put an H in front of er, this says her, and this says mit, and so the word is hermit. And in this word, you should see the CR, which says cur, and now we just sing it. Crab, hermit crab. So this story is called Hermit Crab, and it's about a little hermit crab. If you ever get to go to the pet store, you can find hermit crabs at the pet store. And when my children were little, they had hermit crabs. And one of our fun things to do was build them houses out of Legos, and then the hermit crabs would crawl inside their house. But sometimes we got pinched. That was not the good part of the story. So be careful if you're ever around hermit crabs. They can pinch and they can hurt. All right, so what do you see inside this story? You should see the magic E and the magic E bonks the O on the head and the O says O and now we sing it. Huh, home, home. And now let's look at this word. Tell me what you know about this word. Do you see anything that you know? I hope you see the sight word in because now we got almost half the word done. And then the magic is gonna bonk this eye on the head and this eye is going to say I because if they get bonked on the head, they usually say their name, right? So let's sing this part. Side, and remember, the magic key doesn't get to talk because it's on timeout for bonking him on the head. Side. So this Lego says side. This Lego says in. If we snap it together, it says inside. Someday you will have the word outside. And that's also a compound word. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's see if we can find a chunk inside this word. The chunk you should see is E-L-L. -L. Remember, this is big mouth, so it says L, and then S-H says sh, and so this says sh, L, shell. And that matches the meaning of our story, doesn't it, boys and girls? Because what do hermit crabs have? They have shells. All right, tell me what you see inside this word. You should see the sight word look. And you should see the ing Lego. Snap it together and it says, look ing. Look what good readers you're turning out to be. Look at these long words you get to use your eyes by eyes on and make them easy and find the little Legos. So proud of you boys and girls. All right, so we've had this in lots of stories, but sometimes we forget what it says. So this says, oh, no, and there's an exclamation point at the end, so you should read it with excitement in your voice. That doesn't mean shouting, that just shows excitement. Oh no, okay? So don't forget to work on your storytelling voice. All right, what do you see inside this word? Cameraman, is it okay? I wrote it kind of low. All right, you should see the Y at the end. Y at the end says E. You should see UN, UN says UN. You should see GR, that's a blend on our blend chart that says grr. And now we sing it. Huh. Hungry. Hungry. 
All right, if you're having troubles with blends, boys and girls, there's lots and lots of blend charts online that your parents can probably find for you. And then you can practice finding those blends inside these words too. All right, what do you see inside this word? You should see SH, that's a blend on the blend chart. It says shh, and now we sing it. <sighs> I, this is little mouth, remember. <sighs> Ish, fish. All right, now here's one that some of you may have heard this rule before, and some of you, this rule might be new. So it's a little tiny word, but it teaches a very important rule. So in our old classroom, do you remember those green letters that were above my head on the wall? It was these letters, A, E, I, O, and U. And those are called vowels. And out of the whole alphabet, these are the only letters that are called the vowels. So inside this word, we have E, which is a vowel. We have A, which is a vowel. So we have a little bit of a problem, boys and girls, because all the vowels always like to do the talking. So if E wants to do the talking and A wants to do the talking, guess what our mouth's gonna do? Mumble jumble, blah, 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 blah. So reading isn't supposed to be mumble jumble, so we give them a rule. So we tell the vowels, just like you have rules to keep you safe and to keep order, the vowels have rules. So when we have two vowels together, here's the rule. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So the E and the A are walking together, but the only one that gets to talk is the E. The A just goes for the walk. So when you see two vowels together, it only gets one sound, so we don't have mumble jumble. So this is going to say, and they usually say their name, Sometimes they don't say their name, but in this one, they do say their name. So the E is going to say E, and the T is going to say T. And so now we sing it. Eat, eat. All right, so those are the vowels, boys and girls. That might have been new for some of you. I love teaching you new things. All right, and then this word is in the story. So who do you see inside this word? You should see big mouth. This word tricks a lot of kindergartners and first graders sometimes because they forget about big mouth. So don't forget when you see an E, that's big mouth. So we, big mouth says eh. So we sing it. Huh, help, huh, help, help. And that also has an exclamation mark in it in the story. So don't forget to practice your storytelling voice. And when you see this word, don't say help. That doesn't sound like you're calling for help, does it? You should sound like the characters and act like you're calling for help. So you should say something like this, help. Remember, you need to show excitement in your voice. That makes the, the story seem like a movie in your brain. And then you will remember the story better. All right, what Lego do you see inside this word? You should see ing, and then you should see your sight word, go. Snap it together, and it says, go ing. Now I erase the board because I want these two words to be together. So what do you see inside this word? I hope you remember A-Y. That was one of the first ones that we learned because it comes from the word play, doesn't it? And that was probably one of the first words you learned how to write. So if you know the word play, then you know A-Y and all the other words, maybe a hundred of them. A-Y says A, just like it does in play, doesn't it? So this is the A button. So we push the A button and we say A, and then we put a W in front of the A. So let's just take the A button off for a minute because that's just the A button. It's kind of like pushing the button for the elevator. All right, so let's sing this one, ready? W-A-W-A-Y. So this part says way. So we need to push the A button, like a doorbell, ding dong. Push the A button and say A. A, now drive your car and sing the rest, ready? A, way, A, way. Oops, I forgot. Now let's look at this word. Oops, wrong one. That's in the next book, I think. So 
So don't forget a Y. It could be in a hundred other stories. All right, what do you see inside this one? Dun, dun, dun. There it is again. A Y says A, but this time we're putting a D in front. So when we put a W in front, it said way. When we put a D in front, it says day. And then over here, we snapped on this sight word. So this sight word says two, doesn't it? So if we snap them together, this says two day. Now, while you're reading, that gets two touches with your finger in the story. So make sure you touch two and you touch day. That's a two touch word. So don't forget to keep your finger on the words, boys and girls. Usually you keep your fingers on the word so I know where you are, but I want you to keep your finger on the on the reading road so you can find those Legos, okay? All right, what do you see inside this word? You should see the magic E. Magic E is gonna bonk the A on the head. He's a vowel. So what's the A gonna say? He says his name, A. Now we sing it. S A F safe. And the magic key doesn't get to talk because he's on timeout, right? All right, that's all the I spy ice we have inside this story. So we, that was good practicing those tools in our toolbox. Now we're gonna practice sight words. Now these are the words that you should be able to say fast. So these should not take very much of your brain energy. If these words are hard for you, then you should practice this part of the video more than once because these words are never going away. They might be in the next book, the next book, and the next book, and the next book, and these are your resting words. So you wanna be able to look at them and say them fast so you can rest when you see these words in the story. All right, so I'm gonna show you the words. My cameraman's going to zoom. I'm going to give you a chance to go through them first, and then we'll have a little contest and see if you can say them faster than me. And I wrote front and back, so we'll do this twice, cameraman, okay? All right, so cameraman's good and zoomed. All right, let's see how fast you can say them. Here we go. Cameraman, tell me if the cards are upside down, okay? All right, could you stand fast? Okay, now we're gonna have a race. Are you ready? All right, see if you can beat me. I hope you're shouting them. Little. This. Four, she, and two. And guess what, boys and girls? I always tell you about the little critter story. Me too, me too. Remember how I tell you about the little critter story? How the bratty little sister says, me too, me too, me too. But I never have the book with me when we're learning about the word too. So while we've been home, I read that story for you. So you can look for that. Um, the same place you found this video and you can finally, finally, finally hear my little critter story that teaches the word two. Okay, it's a fun story. You'll think it's silly, boys and girls. All right, let's do the other side. Let's see how fast you can say them. Are we zoomed, cameraman? Okay. All right, can you say them fast? All right, see if you can beat me. Here we go, ready? Go, good, where, do you remember my board at school, boys and girls? And I have question words on the back of my board at school. Well, this is one of those question words, where. So this word's gonna be around a while. Make sure you get it memorized. Where, Not on this one, I put a Lego on this letter. Because I know you know like. So if you know like, then you know likes. I hope you beat me on that one. And last, look. All right, don't forget to practice your sight words, boys and girls, that's very, very important. And that's the end of video number one. So make sure you find video number two so you can read Hermit Crab all by yourself. You're gonna love it, it's one of my favorites. All right, see you in video number two, bye-bye.